All right. Hello, everyone. I've got about five minutes left on my phone's uh, internal or SD card storage, so let's make this quick. This is going to be a quick haul about some stuff that I uh, picked up at the Ottawa Lego store uh, just uh, this past Monday. So uh, I made a... It was supposed to be just a quick visit to pick up a few small things, and then it kind of expanded. Uh, I got the Lego Classic set, mainly just because uh, I really love this part of it. Uh, with uh, the timeline of all these different sets. The only sets that I remember seeing in catalogs uh, as a kid would have been the reissue of this one and this one, because I only started receiving catalogs from in 2003, so it was after Adventurers was out of production. I saw Orient Expedition, though, and I loved that. Um, yeah, none of this stuff I, I uh, had in catalogs as a kid. I had some of these that I inherited from uh, my uh, dad's collection uh, from the 60s. And, uh, yeah, of course, the Tahu, the Bionicle Tahu, that became a huge meme. That was great. And got a video set, mainly just as a joke gift for my sister, because she loves K-pop. <laughs> and, uh, this was a build a minifigure, lots of parts that I didn't have, either didn't have before, wanted in large quantities, and each of these characters is something specific, uh, that, uh, I'm working on for a exciting project that I'll hopefully be able to unveil at uh, Brickworld Chicago in a couple weeks. And then this was just a sample of some of the brick from uh, uh, my Lego store that was available uh, and some stuff that I picked out of the... they had like a kind of a random grab bin in one of the walls or one of the cubbies in the wall. Uh, the most exciting parts here for right now, I've got some slopes to build Halo grunts and some uh, these funky curved white bricks I can't remember the name of that uh, I'm going to be using for a Jack Stone inspired build. And then I got my gift with purchase uh, after I spent $200 Canadian uh, with that Scout Trooper helmet, which I'm just building right there. And I'm planning on turning that into, if I can, a clone uh, version of the Scout Trooper helmet based off of the design from uh, the clone, the Kashyyyk Scout Trooper. Uh, it was uh, in white in an illustration in one of the old uh, Insider magazines. So I'll see if I can replicate that. It's going to be a little bit difficult, I think. But uh, yeah, this was my gift with purchase. Really, really lovely set. Uh, it's just captures so much of uh, my own childhood experiences with uh, playing uh, imagination in this very bedroom. Uh, not with boxes, though. I don't think I ever built a, a box rocket ship uh, in my bedroom. That would be cool, though. But uh, yeah, just a lot of really fun uh, classic space references in here. And even some little green army men. Reminds me of Toy Story. Then I got a couple of these magazines to bring to my lug meeting this week. Um, as someone who is a huge, huge fan of the old Lego magazines, I'm not sure how to feel about these, to be completely honest. Uh, they're just, they're not, they're not really for me <laughs> anymore. Uh, and uh, I'm just really curious about uh, the production behind these, because they've, uh, they've changed suppliers for both, I think, uh, the, uh, the, the paper that they're using and possibly even the printer. Uh, I don't know. Um, Max is still kicking around, so that's uh, that's nice and fun and wholesome. But uh, yeah, this was in this huge bag. I also picked up some other stuff from uh, my local mall. So from an, uh, an EB Games, I got a uh, clearanced Black Series uh, Zalbar from Knights of the Old Republic. This is my one of my first Kotor figures and uh, one of my first. Uh, my first Black Series figure, so he'll be going up on my very eclectic wall of uh, uh, random Star Wars action figures that I've been collecting. I uh, got a Game of Thrones Mega Block set because it was cheap and I really wanted to try it out just to see uh, what Mega is do or was doing for this. Um, definitely not for kids, but um, I, I'm in the same province here in Canada as Mega Blocks uh, over in Quebec. So uh, it's a little piece of home for me. And then uh, from a... Oh, I also picked up this cool hat from the uh, EB Games. And then from a uh, local music store, I found Shadows of the Empire, uh, which is a reissue of it. And uh, I uh, really love Shadows of the Empire. Halo thing for my uh, phone. And then two vinyl records, the original Tron, which I love, and uh, Breaking Benjamin. So, yeah. I remember being introduced to Halo 2, I think through a Clone Wars AMV way back 2007 or something on YouTube. Uh, 
those were the days. Anyway, that's it for now. I gotta go, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.